Hello friends, this video on chemical kinetics part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let's talk about a different kind of reaction called pseudo order reaction. See actually we can change the order of reactions under some conditions. See, for example, if I have some reaction A plus B gives C plus D with some coefficient, I'm not bothered about it. And rate is nothing but K of A to the power X, B to the power Y. And X and Y has to be determined experimentally. Correct. Now, if A is in excess, let's suppose. If A is in excess, and let's suppose this has power 2, you know, or 3, any number, not 0. If A is in excess, even if the reaction continues, the concentration of A will be same, right? Concentration of A will be constant. If the concentration of A will be constant, A square will be constant, right? Some constant value. And then K into this constant will also become some constant value. So the rate which was a to the power some value, let's suppose 2 here, into b to the power y. So in this case the order was 2 plus y. Now I made it y. How? If a is in excess, a to the power 2 will always be constant, some constant. Then the concentration of a will not decrease. So in that case, k into this a square will be a constant number. And that means this is some constant noted by some value into b to the power y. This value will change. Thus, the rate of the reaction has changed from y plus 2 to y or x plus y to y. Correct? Hope you are understanding. See, if one of the reactant is in excess, the concentration of that reactant won't change. Since the concentration of the reactant won't change, we can assume this whole value, that reactant to the power some number. If it is 0, anyway, it is independent. If it is 1, 2 or 3 or any number, the whole thing is constant. If this is constant, we can take this k into it constant as a constant and thus the rate will be free of this part and thus the order of the reaction will go down. A good example is a hydrolysis. So if you do a hydrolysis of let's suppose 0.01 mole of ethyl acetate with uh, 10 mole of water. Let's see the reaction. So let's suppose I have ethyl acetate. And I have water. And acidic medium. I'm doing a hydrolysis. This is what you'll get. So at t is equal to 0, let's suppose this, this was 0 0.01 mole and this was 10 mole. At t is equal to t after everything is consumed, this becomes 0. And at the max, this will become 10 minus 0 0.01 mole. Correct? And this is what 10 minus 0 0.01 mole is nothing but 9 point nine. Nine point nine nine actually you see. Yes, nine point nine nine mole. And this becomes again 0 0.01 mole, this becomes 0 0.01. But if you see the concentration of water here was 10 mole, and here it is 9.99 mole. Very less cheese, almost same. Right? If it is but this is almost same, not much change. So concentration of water is not change that much. So in for this reaction, the rate was actually some k into concentration of C2H5, COO, C2H5 and concentration of water also. But concentration of water is almost same. So I can write this guy as nothing but k dash C2H5, CWO, C2H5. Sorry, CH3 here.
anyway that doesn't make a difference here what i'm trying to uh, explain you that this is gone because this is a this is a constant because k in where i'm saying k dash is nothing but k into h2 this is constant this is almost 10 so if you see now earlier the reaction order was 2 but i made it 1 such kind of reaction are called pseudo order reaction right so technically it is a second order reaction but it will behave like a first order reaction so we'll apply all the formulas linked to first order reaction in this case because since the concentration of water is so much this is behaving as a first order reaction correct let's take one numeric hydrolysis of methyl acetate in aqueous solution has been studied by titrating the liberated acetic acid against sodium hydroxide the concentration of ester at the different times are given below this is nothing but concentration of ester show that it follows the pseudo order first order reaction as the concentration of water remains same nearly 55 moles per liter during the course of reaction what is the value of k dash in this reaction c hydrolysis of methyl acetate ch3 co ch3 reacts with water to gives ch3 coh plus ch3 oh this is the reaction and it is asked telling that prove that it is a pseudo order reaction so, and it's saying that the concentration of water is almost same correct now the rate is k dash into ch3 coh and into water now since it is a pseudo order reaction i'm assuming that water concentration is almost constant so k dash into water will be almost same and that i can say as nothing but let's suppose k into ch3 coh where my k is nothing but k dash into concentration of water Right, since this is constant, this is constant. I'm just giving some number from some different value k. I can give k double dash also. This is my rate of this equation. Now, if you see from this equation, I can say the first order equation. Right, so it's a pseudo reaction, but the first order reactions will apply all the logic of first order reaction. Correct. Right? So if you can prove that that this is true, that means things are fine. So let's find the value of k from this, from this data, from at least this data, and then we'll try to find the value of k from this data. Right? If both are same, that means this is a first order reaction. That's what you do, right? You have data given, and you want to know whether it is a first order reaction or second order reaction. There are three ways actually we'll discuss. So one of the ways, uh, substitution of formula. In the formula is you substitute and try to get the values. Right? If, if it is same, then you say, okay, yes, this is correct. So let's do this. So K, if you want to find, this becomes 2.303 by T log of R naught by R. Let's take this pair of reaction. Find the value. This becomes 2.303 times is 30 minus 0 is 30. It is a minute into log of R0 initial concentration is 0.85, final is 0 0.8004. And if you solve this, this becomes almost 2.004 into 10 to the power minus 3 minute. Let's try to find again the value of k from different set. Let's take this set. 2.303 by t log of r naught by r. 2.303 by t is again my 30. 90 minus 60 is 30. Minute log of r naught. Initial concentration here is 0 0.7538. Final is 0 0.7096. You solve this, you get almost same value. Bye-bye.
Since I'm getting same value in this equation, that means this proves it is a pseudo first order reaction. That part is done. The next part is we define the value of k dash. The, the equation we know is k is nothing but k dash into water concentration. K is something which we have found. So k dash will be what? K by H2O. K dash is nothing but K by H2O from this equation. What is the value of K? 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 per minute. And concentration of H2O is what? 55 mole per liter. So if you solve this, you get 3.64 into 10 to the power minus 5 moles per liter per minute. Correct. So that is the value of k dash because the question is asking me the value of k dash not the value of k. k I already found two values just to make sure that the equation which I am using is correct. Right? It is a first order reaction to prove that I found two values of k using first order reaction formulas and both the values were same that proves that it is a first order reaction. Then I have to find the value of k dash. I know k dash is nothing but k by concentration of water. I know the value of k and I know the concentration of water and I get the value of k dash. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos. Attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.